Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. For our Maths Easy episode for today, we will be learning rearranging formulas. So let's get started. for today is rearranging formula. Now there are things that we have to remember when we do rearranging or changing the subject of the formula. Now first thing is do not rush it. You must go through each stage of your method and not try to skip anything. And if you are making x the subject, it means that you want to end up with x equals and this is the only x in your answer and the rest will be on the other side of the equation and we will be following the rule of PEMDAS or we call it BIDMAS. Let's try it for example if we have a 3n minus 5 equals 13. In linear equations when we are looking for n here we have to remove all the other constants and place it or transfer it to the other side of the equation. So to eliminate minus 5 on the left side of the equation, then we have to add 5. And since we added 5, which is not part of the original equation, we need to do the same thing on the right side of the equation. So we add 5 here, we also add 5 here. So that's 3n minus 5 plus 5 is 0 equals 3, 13 plus 5 will be 18. And since we need only n, we have to divide this by 3, then we'll have n equals 6. Now the same process will be done if we do rearrangement of formulas or changing the subject of a formula. For example, if you have y equals x plus a, you are asked to make x the subject. So this means to get x on its own on one side of the equation. So by doing that, since x here has a positive a, we have to take that a on the other side of the equation, which means we have to subtract a, or transfer it, it becomes subtraction. So you have y minus a equals x plus a minus a. So plus a minus a will be 0, so you'll have y minus a equals x x is now on its own on one side of the equation. You may want to put the subject on the left-hand side, so it will be the same as x equals y minus a, but this is not necessary. How about if we have a, let me just rewrite this, a equals x plus cx over d. Now you want to make or rearrange the formula so that x will be the subject. So since you have a d here, we will multiply all sides by d. Multiply all sides by d. So d times a will be ad equals d times x will be dx. And this one cancels out, that will be plus cx. After multiplying both sides by d, we will factorize x from here. So this will be ad equals x, which is common between the two. You'll have d plus c. And then we will divide this by dc. Therefore, x will be equal to ad over d plus c. Now let's try more examples. Let's say you are asked to rearrange the formula a equals 1 over p plus 1 over q and making p the subject. So since this is a fraction, we will multiply both sides by pq. So multiplying both sides by pq, you will have pq you will have a pq equals p will cancel here so that's 1 so it's q plus 
Q cancels here, so you're left with P. That would be P. After which, we have to rearrange to get all the P's on one side of the formula. So to move this P to the left side, we have to subtract P on both ends. APQ minus P equals Q plus P minus P. So you have APQ minus P equals Q. Now since you only need P, we will factor out P from this side on the left side. P AQ minus 1 equals Q. Therefore, your final answer after this will be P equals Q over AQ minus 1. Let's try another example. If you are asked to rearrange a formula where you have a square root, now the same thing, a square root, when you transfer, it becomes a square. So if you want to rearrange this to make t the subject, first is, since you have s equals b plus the square root of t over p, we have to subtract b from both sides. So you will have s minus b equals b minus b plus the square root of t over p. So you will have s minus b equals square root of t over p. Then we square both sides of the equation. Both sides of the equation you will have s minus b bracket square equals Square root and square cancels out t over p. Now, since you need t, you have to multiply or rearrange by multiplying it with p on the other side. So we move this p. So we need to move this p to the other side or multiply p on both sides. So you'll have p bracket s minus b square equals t. Therefore, t is equal to p times s minus b squared. I hope that you have learned something from our episode for today and if you do please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today and as always as teacher Maria would say please do live your life to the fullest learn something new every day and love one another as how our God loves us see you next episode for our math easy series bye